when we look at the transmission of uh, Buddhism, especially Tibetan Buddhism to the West, uh, currently we see some sort of uh, scientific pathways such as the Mind and Life Institute uh, efforts to sort of make it more authentic and uh, acceptable through scientific support. Then you also see in the case of mindfulness, how you have the clinical, medical and therapeutic use uh, being adopted to spread it. And there are some people, uh, I think we both know Stephen Batchelor, who also talks about a very secular form of Buddhism. So there are different, but I'm just wondering how the Denju that your tradition, the Drukpakaju tradition embodies the true sort of lineage, the essential transmission. Would the current sort of uh, Tibetan Buddhist regime work for a Western uh, disciple or student? Like doing Yuan Rose, you have been through 12 years of retreat. Uh, is that the best way for people to take up this Denji, the true transmission? Or uh, what would work better for an ordinary Westerner? <laughs> I think it helps a lot if, um, well, I mean, it, it also depends on, on your motivation. You know, mm. I mean, how much one has really dedicating, how much the Dharma is at the center of one's life, you know? Mm. But I, I think that, you know, the, the chances of many people going through a really thorough training in, um, in, the, in the Tibetan style is, is rare. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, in our nunnery, we have a, a retreat center and with about now 10 nuns in it. And most of them have done 12 years retreat. They are training to become Togdenma. But I mean, two of them who came in uh, just over a year ago said they have now finished five sets of Mundro. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that kind of dedication, I mean, it's not just finishing one mundra, but five rounds of mundra uh, within a year. It's that kind of total focus is, I don't know how um, many Western people would do it. I mean, some will, but it's not ever going to be a, a major, uh, a major. So I think that more important than that, would be teaching people how to keep the basic view, the Dzogchen view, Anamahamudra view, along with bodhicitta throughout the day. And transform, bring the Dharma into the center of our life instead of just in the periphery when we have a bit of time. Mm because that's what we need. It's to transform the mind, you know, the mind, turn the mind to the Dharma, as they mm. always say, that's what we need. Mm. So that everything we do, everybody we meet is our Dharma practice, mm. Mm. which so, we could do, we could do, because mm. it doesn't take time. It just takes application. Mm. 